Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity. At this time we are talking about CCS Park and Hadoop developer um, uh, write a query that produces ranked or sorted data using PySpark um, as part of transform state store module. And uh, we already covered global ranking and sorting. Before talking about bikey ranking and sorting, um, let's see some basic uh, uh, basic Python uh, functions that you you need to be aware of uh, so let me start demonstrating on it so you can create a list in uh, uh, spark by in pyspark by using this command you can create a variable and then you can provide the values you want one five seven three Three zero nine one two five three two one five seven six. So I have created a list, and if you want to get the number of elements in the list, you can use len function. It has eighteen elements. And if you want to sort the data, you can use sort function. Sorry, sorted function. And hit enter. It will sort the data for you. And if you want to um, get to the duplicates, uh, if you want to eliminate the duplicates and you get all the unique elements in the list, you can use set function. And it will give all the unique elements in the list. And if you want to sort it, uh, sort it in descending order, you can actually say L and then reverse equal to true. It will sort the data in uh, reverse order. You have to pass true with T as capital. And now the data is sorted in reverse order. And if you want to get the first uh, few elements in, uh, in the list, you can use uh, um, yeah, you, you need to import a package called writer tools and it has a uh, it has a, a method called i slice and that will take the list and the starting element from which you want to start and then how many elements you want to receive so in the, in this list if i uh, give 0 of 1 and uh, 0 comma 1 and uh, uh, this is the zeroth element. Um, so starting from zeroth element, it will give one uh, uh, one element. If you say zero comma three, starting from zeroth element, it will give three elements. If you say one comma three, starting from first element, which is four, it will give three elements. So it should return four one five. It's an iterable. So you have to either use for loop like this for i in collect print of i yeah so actually it does not uh, uh, this uh, second parameter is not the number of elements it's uh, uh, it's the position up to which it should return so starting from 1 so in this case, it will try to get the results starting from 1 till uh, elements 3 minus 1. So uh, it's the position uh, of the element up uh, uh, which you, you want to pu uh, pull at the last element. So in this case, our original data set is this one, 2, 4, 1. And we are asking for the element starting from 1 uh, up to uh, 3. So 1 is... Um, one is uh, uh, the nth element so in this case uh, the first element is uh, this is the zeroth element and this is the first element and it wa uh, i want to display up to third elements yeah, and the third element is one so i start i want to start with um, this is a little bit confusing here what how, how it will work is uh, let me write in uh, a simple for loop for this and then you will understand so it will work like this if you want to get element from 1 to 3 
so it will be like for i in range 1 comma 3 let me print of i and hit enter so if you see the range function will give uh, 1 2 um, the element before the uh, 1 2 3 minus 1 so 1 2 2 only so similar is the case here uh, now if we if i want to display from the list i can say li um, l of i so l of 1 l of 1 will be the uh, this element and l of 2 will be this element so it will only display 4 and 1 now you can see it displays 4 and 1 so this i slice actually does the same thing it actually uh, use it in a for loop um, it uh, using range so 1 2 3 means uh, the range of 1 2 3 returns only 1 and 2 not the uh, the upper boundary and uh, using that it will iterate through the list and give the results so in this case uh, if you want to display from uh, 2 to 3 it will only display one element in this case which is the third element in the list so i slice using i slice you can get um, as many elements as you want uh, typically if you we use uh, the, if you want to get three first three elements you have to use 0 to 3 and it will give the first three elements so uh, also you can actually apply and the list function on this uh, so iter tools dot i slice actually uh, returns an iterable like we have seen earlier to display you can also say list and convert into a list and hit enter you can see the 241 here so our actual list is this one and it has returned first three elements from the list now if you want to get uh, five elements you can say five and you can get this so now we have seen uh, list to sort uh, and also set so we have seen three functions uh, list sort and set and we can use these three things uh, to uh, to do the ranking on this list and get first uh, few elements from the list so let's try to do that so now um, first we need to uh, uh, eliminate the duplicates so that um, because I, I want to get uh, the top three elements from the list so first I have to eliminate the duplicate so I have to apply the set function then I have to do the sorting in reverse order so that I get elements in descending order which, which are already distinct and then I have to apply I slice function on that and to display how to apply the list uh, function on that so list title tools dot I slice L. let's say I want to get top five elements so in this case I have to replace L with uh, sorted because I have to sort the data and before sorting I want to eliminate the duplicates so I have to apply set L and uh, uh, while sorting I have to sorting uh, sort it in descending order so I have to say reverse equal to true so now data will be uh, duplicates will be eliminated and then data will be sorted in descending order and then a sli i slice will a function will get the top five records and list will actually convert it into list and display the results and you can uh, uh, hit enter to see the actual values so this functionality is important for you uh, to to get uh, uh, the ranking uh, as a function the reason why I'm emphasizing on this is that we need to use all these functions when we try to uh, sort and, uh, and get values uh, for, for our next problem statement uh, we need to use all these things so let's go to the script and let's define the problem statement so the problem statement is to get top n priced products so to get top n priced products so now let's go back and uh, run the previous uh, uh, ranking uh, global ranking uh, script which we have seen this one 
if you hit enter uh, you can see that we got five um, uh, top five priced products uh, top five uh, top five products in the descending order of price but if you see um, we have only top three priced products in this uh, sorry top three prices in this you have 1999 dollars 1799 dollars and 1099 dollars as there are duplicates um, for 1799 it is the uh, means three records with 1799 price we get five records but uh, only they are top three priced products so this is called as uh, a sparse ranking uh, so you will get ranking based upon the price directly but if you want to assign rank the same rank for the uh, uh, for the elements which have the same value and then if you want to get top three uh, priced products in this case you should get all these five records but if i just use three here i will get 1999 and other 1799 uh, whereas uh, if i want to top five priced products uh, sorry top three priced products there there are five or more in this case let me see how many are there there could be duplicates with 1099 also so I, here i am printing with 10 so there is only one uh, so if i say top five uh, top three priced products i should get 1999 products all 3799 products and 1099 product so this is the problem statement we want to get top n priced products it is different from top uh, top products by price top five pri uh, products by price is you, you will get um, all the uh, top, all the five records even though there are duplicates in them it will return uh, as top five products by price but if i want top uh, five products top five priced products there is a difference the previous problem statement to which i am executing here is it's a top five products by price but uh, i want top um, five priced products so in that case i have to get all these 99 uh, dollar ones also and also another price also so let's see you will understand once you complete this we will do both um, uh, top priced products and uh, and also top products by price under each category uh, so i want to get these things by key so the key is category uh, so i want to get top and priced products by price this is one problem statement sorry by category and another problem statement is to get top n products by price by category so within the category i want to just get top n products by price the second one is i want to get top n priced products uh, so there is a difference in those two and we will see both in this so here um, we need to again recollect the group by function so when we actually talk about aggregations we we spoke about uh, um, um, uh, five aggregations count by key which is an action and it is only used to get the counts by key which is not appropriate in most of the aggregations and then we have seen uh, reduce by key, combine by key, aggregate by key, and group by key. So reduce by key, combine by key, and aggregate by key are primarily to perform the aggregations on the data set. But to use the sorting and get more flexibility on the transformations which we need to do as part of uh, uh, grouping by the results, we have to use group by key. So in this case we have to use group by key only we cannot use any of the other uh, aggregation functions such as reduce by key combine by key or aggregate by key so uh, when we actually uh, let's start uh, let us read the products data so now the products uh, have the um, uh, rdd mapped to the uh, data in the file and then I am actually um, mapping or passing the data based upon the product category ID. So here product category ID is the second element. So as part of the output for the mapper, the key will be the product category ID and the value will be record itself. So once you get the product uh, uh, category ID, 
you can actually group by product category ID by using uh, group by function. So let me do products group by equal to products map dot group by key. Okay, and then uh, lambda. Sorry, you can say group by key. Now the data will be grouped by key, and then you can actually try to print out products group by dot take of five print of i and you can see that you you are getting uh, 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 five product categories and the uh, as key and then value is an iterable which means it is a it is an array if you want to display you can actually modify your uh, 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 group by key function and apply map logic on that by saying map function and here I can say lambda rec and if I want to get the key as is which is product category ID and if I want to get the list of the uh, if I want to get the see the values of this iterable you can convert it into a list like this rec of one okay and then i have to close the under bracket i think there is under bracket which needs to be closed yeah so now i can actually run this uh, group by function and now i can see that for the key 34 there are n number of uh, records uh, uh, in the products table so like that we can actually get the results and if if you want to apply uh, if you want if you want you can apply operations such as sorted and all those things which we have seen earlier on this data set and get the results as you want that being said i will wrap up uh, at this point uh, in this video we have seen the fundamentals that are uh, involved in developing the more advanced uh, by key uh, sortings and rankings and uh, as part of uh, future couple of videos i will try to cover how we can achieve uh, the sorting and ranking based upon uh, uh, the key that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on my channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the uh, uh, video if you want, have any technical questions, please use the uh, Stack Overflow and tag the questions with uh, uh, appropriate keywords. If you want to discuss on uh, certifications or Apache Spark, you can uh, uh, send a request to my groups, uh, IT Varsity Hadoop Certifications and IT Varsity Apache Spark. And finally, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You will get to see a lot more content like this over time. Thank you. Bye.